Hi everyone, today we're going to be having some of our animal friends explain how trees keep soil healthy and we're going to be using Scratch to help us explain. And hey, if you're new to coding or if you're new to Scratch, please check out my uh, YouTube channel at Pekka Radio. This will get you up to speed really quickly on how to code and how to use Scratch. And I suggest that you follow me because I'll be uploading videos regularly. Anyways, let's get started. So I'm already at scratch.mit.edu there. I'm going to click the create button because we're creating something brand new today. If a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat because we're going to be using different sprites and backdrops. So first I'm going to get a backdrop. So I'm going to click way down here. And the one I'm going to use is the forest backdrop right there. So I'm going to double click that. I'm also going to get a whole bunch of tree sprites to make it look like a really lush and real forest. So I'm going to go down here, get a tree sprite. There's a couple to choose from. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to get another one and another one and another one just so it looks really nice. Um, let me go get again. Sorry about the delay. There we go. Let me get one more and we'll be done. Good. There we go. So it's going to move them around a little bit so it looks a bit better. You might want to make them a little bit larger. You can by clicking on the size button. See these trees are all 100%. I can make this a bit bigger. Let's say 130%. There we go. Like that. So you can change the sizes of your trees. Now I'm going to get some animal friends. And the first one I'm going to get is a fox. So I'm going to go down here and look for the fox sprite. So the fox sprite. Did I pass him? Yep, right there. Fox. Good. I'm going to put the fox way down here. Now I'm going to code the fox so that when someone clicks on the fox, he changes costumes. Because look, he's got four different costumes. I'm going to click on the costume button. Or three different costumes. There, there, and there. So it just so it looks like he's busy and active in our forest. So look what I'm going to do. When this sprite is clicked, so when someone clicks on the fox sprite, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so you can see this better when you're at home or at school, wherever you happen to be working. When this fox sprite is clicked, change costumes. And uh, I'm going to go to the looks button, change or switch costume, next costume. There we go. And I'm going to have it do it 10 or 12 times. So I'm going to go to the control and I'm going to get a repeat. And I'm going to have him switch that 12 times. And he's going to go awfully fast. Look, watch what's going to happen to the fox. He's going to go too fast. So I'm going to slow him down a little bit so we can see him changing costumes. I'm going to get the weight. And the weight is going to be too slow, like one second. That's too long. So I'm just going to speed him up a little bit. Instead of one second, a number that's a little bit smaller, maybe 0 decimal 3. So now he'll switch costumes a whole bunch of times. Perfect. And then he's going to say something. So watch. I'm going to go to the looks button and then grab the say right there. And he's going to give us a fact about how trees help the soil. So for example, I could write down trees absorb rainfall, which is important for soil. And I'm going to have him say that for four seconds because not everyone can read that super quickly. So look, everyone, when someone clicks on the fox sprite, He's going to change costumes 12 times and there's going to be a little bit of a wait so he doesn't do it too fast. Then after he's done uh, changing costumes, he's going to say, whoops, I put think. I want him to say it, not think it. So say, whoops, my mistake. I'm going to get rid of that. Say, trees absorb uh, rainfall. There we go. And I'm going to have him say that for four seconds. So green flag, click on the fox. He's changing costumes, and then he should say, trees absorb rainfall. Fox is done. And now I'm going to go get another one. I'm going to go get, uh, let's say, a butterfly. And I'm going to code the butterfly exact same way. I'm going to move him up here. I'm going to make the butterfly a little bit smaller. It shouldn't be that big. Maybe 40%. There he is there. Perfect. So now when you click on the butterfly, he also says something. Now I'm going to get two more sprites. I'm going to get a rabbit sprite or a hare, I think it's called, and the owl sprite. And I'm going to code them the exact same way I did with the fox, except they're all going to give a different piece of information. So I'm just going to pause. I'm going to go get those sprites and code them while we're waiting. 
Okay, thank you for your patience. So while you were waiting, I went and got a number of sprites. So I got my fox sprite and he says, trees absorb rainfall. I got the butterfly sprite and I coded it to change costumes 12 times. And then the butterfly says, trees protect soil from erosion. I got a hair um, sprite and I coded him, to, uh, coded him to change costumes 12 times. And then the hair says, tree roots help water get deep into the soil. You might notice that the hair is facing a different direction than the original sprite. Look what I did. I just went to costumes and I changed the direction that the hair is facing just by clicking that. But I also had to do all of them, right? So I changed all three of these um, costumes to face that direction just so it looks a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to have him start on this costume. Here we go. And I also coded the owl to say something. Trees provide homes for animals. So that those are done. If you want to get a few more sprites, you can. Hey, there's a problem. Sometimes you might click on a tree. And then when you press the green flag, the tree is in front of the owl. So you might want to go to each of the trees and press when green flag is clicked. Go to back and go to back is in the look. So it's behind the other sprites. So go to um, back, back layer. So the tree, go to the back layer like that. So I'm going to do that with all the trees just so they don't block the uh, owl or the butterfly or whatever animals you also happen to get. So I think we're pretty much done. If you want to create a title, you can. You can go down here, hit the paintbrush. Um, you could get a color that you like that works nicely with your backdrop. Uh, maybe a nice yellow, something like that. And use the T for text and then you can type a backdrop, something like trees protect soil or trees keep our soils, soil healthy. Perfect. And you can move that somewhere and you can have a nice title. So I think that's our project for today. I hope you enjoyed that one and I look forward to seeing you at our next activity. Thanks. Have a great day.